let's see, today we have moved into a new section called What is the Christ? Um, one of the things that we're being asked by Jesus to do is to meditate in 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes before bed, and then to give five minutes to asking or to spending time about what is the Christ consciousness. And uh, it's been an incredible journey of doing this. So here we are in this section called What is the Christ? I'm really excited to read this. Good morning, everybody. Let's say a quick hello. Oh. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Angelo. Hi, Jill. Hi, York. Good morning. Good morning, Germany. I have a friend from California. He goes, Good morning, Virginia. I said, good morning, California. So now we've got good morning, Germany. And good morning, USA. Christ is God's son as he created him. He is the self we share, uniting us with one another and with God as well. He is the thought that still abides within the mind that is his source. Oops, I just realized I didn't go live. Simultaneous life. Oh live on Facebook. Excuse me for one moment. Let me share this into the group. All the Course in Miracles. Jason Mary Magdalene. All right, I'm going to start the reading again. This is the new chapter that's before the lesson. We were just about live on <laughs> live on Facebook. Social media is really amazing. The people we're really able to connect to, the way that we're able to relate to each other, the messages that we're able to send out. I don't know. I just find the whole adventure of social media to be quite extraordinary. Okay, I'm going to start again. What is God's son? What is, sorry, what is it, Christ? Christ is God's son as he created him. He is the self we share, uniting us with one another and with God as well. He is the thought which still abides within the mind that is his source. He has not left his holy home, nor lost the innocence in which he was created. He abides unchanged forever in the mind of God. Christ is the link that keeps you one with God and guarantees that separation is no more than an illusion of despair for hope forever will abide in him. Your mind is part of his and his of yours. He is the part in which God's answers lie, where all decisions are already made and dreams are over. He remains untouched by anything the body's eyes perceive. For though in him his father placed the means for your salvation, yet does he remain the self who, like the father, knows no sin. Home of the Holy Spirit and at home in God alone, does Christ remain at peace within the heaven of your holy mind? This is the only part of you that has reality and truth. The rest is dreams. Yet will these dreams be given unto Christ to fade before his glory and reveal your holy self, the Christ, to you at last. The Holy Spirit reaches from the Christ in you to all your dreams and bids them come to him to be translated into truth. He will exchange them for the final dream which God appointed as the end of dreams. For when forgiveness rests upon the world and peace has come to every son of God, what could there be to keep things separate? Or what remains to see except Christ's face. And how long will this holy face be seen when it is but the symbol that the time for learning now is over and the goal of atonement has been reached at last. So therefore, let us seek to find Christ's face and look on nothing else. As we behold his glory, we will know we have no need of learning or perception or of time or anything except the Holy Self, the Christ whom God created as his son. That's 
so beautiful. So today's lesson is 271, and the lesson is, Christ is the vision I will use today. Exciting. Each day, every hour, every instant, I am choosing what I want to look upon, the sounds I want to hear, the witnesses to what I want to be the truth for me. Today I look upon, today I choose to look upon what Christ would have me see, to listen to God's voice and seek the witnesses to what is true in God's creation. In Christ's sight, the world and God's creation meet, and as they come together, all perception disappears. This kindly sight redeems the world from death, for nothing that he looks on, but must remain. For nothing that he looks on, but must live. Remembering the Father and the Son, Creator and creation unified. And the prayer is, Father, Christ's vision is the way to you. What he beholds invites your memory to be restored to me. And this I choose to be what I would look upon today. Beautiful. Yeah. Here comes Mary Magdalene. Mm. Greetings, beloved beings, beloved friends. We share a heart, we share a will, and we share the mind of God. When you make this active choice to be the living embodiment of the Christ, when you choose to see as Christ sees, to love as Christ loves, to hear and to listen as Christ does, you hear the truth. You hear beyond the deceit and the lies of an ego that seeks to protect that which does not need protection. You allow yourself to feel the love that is the very truth of a Christed being and you pierce the veil through each and every instance of your existence. You see beyond the illusion and the facade to the truth. And the truth is the love that each being is. The truth is the love that you yourself are, that you have merely forgotten, that you have merely set aside for one mad notion of see what seeing what it would be to create as God creates. And yet there are times that you have chosen to create and forgotten the essential ingredient, which is love. So you have created a world of madness, a world of illusion, a world of shadow, and a world of fear. To see as Christ sees, beloveds, is to allow yourself to be in the truth, in the flow of light that God is, the very breath that God breathed. It allows you to say, I have this person and they have continued to annoy me. They have continued to upset me. They seem to be outside of me. They seem to be separate than I am. I don't know how to bring peace to this circumstance. And when you instead say, allow me to see this through the mind of Christ, allow me to see this with the eyes of Christ, allow me to look upon this being as a Christ being, you come to see that they are a mirrored reflection of you, of some aspect of self that you have deemed unworthy to love, the part of you that you judge and then say, I will forget that I feel this way about myself. And instead I will project this onto others who exhibit this behavior. 
and I will look upon them and I will judge them, for it is far easier to do. Beloved, the way to unlock this conundrum is forgiveness. When you are able to forgive yourself and say, I myself have perpetrated and have perpetuated what it is that I am accusing of another. And I am willing to forgive myself. You have unlocked and opened up wide the gates of the kingdom of heaven, which is an internal journey. It lives within you, beloved ones. When you stop looking and finding fault in the world, when you stop looking and finding fault with yourself, and you are willing to see only the goodness, only the kindness, only the holiness of each being and of yourself. When you are willing to look upon yourself and say, I see a holy Christ in being, then you are returned to your factory settings. Then you are returned to be the image of God that created you. Then you are returned to your holy breath that allows you to have the wisdom of love, the wisdom of life. And herein lies your salvation. That moment of forgiving what you had perceived to be outside of you, the moment of recognition of coming to see that it actually lives and exists within you. And then the compassion, the heart and the love to say, I deem to love myself as God loves me with a truth and a nobility and holiness. And you come to see that you are indeed this Christ of being that we speak of. So go today, beloveds, and bring love to all beings in all circumstances. And most importantly, bring love to yourself. That is the very essence of your being. Go forth as a Christ of being, beloved, for that is the truth of you. Know that you go with high and all of our blessings. We are here to assist you. And should you need us, call upon us, beloved, for we are always there guiding you. Blessings to you, dear ones, and I will speak with you again. <laughs> love you guys thank you so much for being here thank you for all the little heart emojis and the love i love you all and i'll see you guys again tomorrow bye everyone <laughs>